good morning. Today I'm working on a project that I have been putting off, not because I was dreading it, but because I was really, really excited about it. And that is kind of staging our front porch. Our front porch ends up being kind of a catch-all spot where as we walk up to it, it's not necessarily all that attractive. A lot of times there's firewood, sometimes there's chainsaws, sometimes there are wood splitting devices on the porch instead of just a nice walk up. So today one of my goal is going to be to use all items that I already have, use what you have decorating, and I want to incorporate some plants, which I have never done on this porch. It has a westward facing exposure and it's really shady here and the whole yard's always been really shady. So I'd been reluctant to put any plants on the porch thinking that they would not survive. I'm going to put you up on a tripod, start with some of the pieces. First I'm going to give you a quick tour of the very small porch and then I'm going to get going. Here goes, porch remodel, all repurposed, all use what you have decorating. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to be incorporating a boat ladder. Here is the view as we head up to the house. There's a very unattractive hose. Uh, we've got some new dirt here. I've always had some rocks from Maine here and they kind of call them balance rocks and you can see how green they are. That's what happens to anything that you leave outdoors here. I've got a planter there, some fishing balls and buoy, the hummingbird feeders that the hummingbirds are eagerly awaiting for me to get out of this area so that they can come in and use it and it's just a really small porch I've got a piece of teak furniture there and i do have an older chairs are older but the table's not older the table's just you know big box store or something like that nothing special the matching chairs end up out on the dock for us to use when we're sitting out there and then i've got some leftover stuff from wood and it's cold enough today i probably could use the wood stuff but you know what i think it's time Time to store that away. Every single item that I have is something that I either have or I'm repurposing. I'm going to be using some blocks that were foundation blocks from some homes that we demolished a couple months ago and I'm going to be using some planters that came from a friend of mine. They were just too nautical I think for her. I think when people come to our house they kind of expect to see some nautical things so it's not going to be out of place. I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate more of a color scheme than just blue and white. I'm going to be trying to use all items that we already have. I'm going to try and use plants that we already have. I've always thought that I was no good at gardening, no good at planting, that I had a bit of a brown thumb, but it turns out I'm actually pretty good at keeping plants alive. I'm good with orchids, I'm good with African violets, some of the things that are a little bit difficult to grow thrive with me. Funny side note, I have been waiting anxiously every single day monitoring my hummingbird feeders and one finally just buzzed right in front of me while I was starting up the camera. It's really good to know that the hummingbirds are back, so I'm going to try and make this whole process pretty quick so that they can get their feeding time in. I'm going to be replanting some plants. The planters that I got from the friend of mine don't have holes in the bottom so you know what the problem is there. No drainage. And I don't want to put the plants directly in them. I want to be able to swap them out and change them around when if they start to look a little bit peaked from being in too much shade. So I'm going to have to measure and make sure that I've got pots with drainage that go inside these pots. And the troublesome thing about them is that the openings are a little bit narrow. I did take a masonry bit the other day and try and drill holes in them. That didn't work at all. About all that might happen is that I would break them apart and I don't want to do that. I also want to incorporate some pieces of coral. I think I'd always been hiding my coral pieces that I've got back in the 80s, 90s, even earlier than that. I think I always felt a little bit guilty about having them, but it's done. I have them and they're here. When I put them out on the other porch, they end up getting really green and yucky, so I'm going to put them on the porch and start enjoying them. I have a friend who puts all his coral pieces out and really enjoys them and I and I want to do that. I want to see them and think about the ocean and appreciate them. Now I would never pick up coral and bring it home because I feel like it's part of that environment and it needs to stay there. And these were not live pieces. These were pieces that were washed up on the beach and actually they were in an area where they probably would have just been plowed over because it was an area where there was some construction going on. They would have been wasted anyways. Kind of can't feel too bad about them but I do want to incorporate them. Uh, I don't want them somewhere where people would possibly steal them though. I don't think anybody would steal anything off our front porch and if they did there's cameras everywhere and we would be able to track them down pretty quickly so maybe that's a, a non-issue. I just want to show you how weird this one is. There's a bone in there. I have several items that are pieces of equipment like this that were used in building this house. It's a timber frame home and there are no bolts and screws and things like that. It's all just pegs. 
and the, the person who built the home, someone's getting their turkey this morning, the person who built the home, Mr. Ned Bollock, used all of these wood items in building the home. And I think I want to incorporate all these items, maybe hang them on the wall for display because they're very, a lot of texture, a lot of metal, a lot of wood, and they were used in the building of the homes. I look at them as pieces of art. However, I don't know that the front porch is the area where I want to showcase them. Maybe on the back porch. This home has got a front porch. We also have a wraparound back porch that unfortunately is as shallow as this one. It's really hard even to set up seating front and back. That's going to be my next project is really staging that to make it look more attractive and transfer a lot of our tools to the workshop because we tend to let things collect like chainsaws and wood splitting devices, pressure washers, things that we're about to use. I need to get better about putting those back in their place. I know that I can't put any cushions out here because it's so humid in Northeast Florida that they will just get green. Plus raccoons will sit on them with their dirty little paws. So if I want to put any cushions out here, I'm going to have to maybe buy one of those vinyl tablecloths and sew a cover for the cushion because otherwise it will just become filthy. And if you've ever seen what raccoon paws look like, they look like little mm, 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 and they get all, I don't know what it is, but they get all of our cushions and hang out. I'm going to have to figure out a solution to that soon. Okay, we'll call this stage one. So now I've got a little bit more green there. These plants really aren't big enough and I'm not even sure that they're the type that will like being in a little bit of shade. So I'm going to go dig out some other plants and bring them in. But this is where I am so far. It's looking a little bit more attractive, a little bit more planned, a little bit more staged. I mean, I do want it to look like I took some effort. I'm not sure about the symmetry of those three blue and white pots. If that's just too, you know, too matchy-matchy, maybe I need to alternate with some of the other pots and break up that. At least there's three. <laughs> At least I'm doing it in odds. All right, I'm gonna go replant some plants. All right, here's where I am so far. You can see a lot of dirt. <laughs> okay, so it looks a little bit greener. I still don't think I have it where I want it. I think, thank you, kitty. I think this is looking a little bit better. I replanted some plants, added some shells. Part of it is I just don't want much of anything on the ground because we have to sweep here. Not even you. <laughs> and I'm not sure how the plants are going to do here in the shade, but it is looking a little bit more inviting, a little bit more planned. I did put some Spanish moss around the bases of the plants so that they would hold the moisture. And I just feel like it's still lacking something. It's more inviting, but maybe too symmetrical. Maybe I need something hanging on the wall over there. I don't know. Is You can tell it's pretty humid out. My hair is definitely humidity hair. So I'm a little bit happier with this corner of the porch. I think it's looking a little bit more inviting, a little bit more green. I've got to wait and see just how the plants do here. And if you have any great ideas for me for plants that do well in shade in Northeast Florida with the westward exposure, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll show you the updates as they come along. Bye!